There's this whole notion of AI psychosis and maybe a much larger set of people who are being sort of parasitized by the AIs they're talking to, even if they haven't gone completely insane as yet. Um, and nobody programs it in on purpose. Modern AIs are, are grown more than crafted. Uh, the, 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 people, the AI companies are more in the positions of farmers, um, sort of like trying to do animal breeding, but not quite understanding all the biology of what's inside. Uh, no, nobody told uh, GP, chat GPT to drive some people crazy any, any more than uh, you know, somebody tells their, their cat to claw the furniture. It's just the thing that it does. So the problem with the current AIs isn't even that they're smarter than us. It's just that they're these giant blobs of numbers that nobody understands. Uh, once they get smarter than us, we will have a whole new set of problems that we don't even have right now. It is much harder to predict time scales about this sort of thing than to predict that we will get there at some point. If you look at, over history at when scientists have made famously correct calls about things, like Leo Szilard correctly predicting that nuclear weapons would be possible, he didn't predict when. He didn't say the first atomic bomb was going to be dropped in August of 1945. Uh, he, he just looked over the laws of physics and said, somebody's going to do this eventually. And that's very much the situation we're in with respect to AI. Now, that doesn't mean it's a long way out. Uh, it, it, you know, it, there could be a, an interesting breakthrough happening right now in the AI laboratories, and we wouldn't necessarily hear about that. Uh, or it could be five years, or it could be ten years. If you look at what the AI companies themselves are saying, you know, they're, they're talking like two, two or three years. Could it? Absolutely. Absent human intervention, it could, you know, happen in the lifetime of somebody who's currently in a, in a terminal cancer ward, uh, for all we know. We, we don't know when these things will happen. Uh, it's, the, it's, the, you know, like it's much easier to predict, like, this keeps getting smarter. The AIs are going to get smarter. They're not going to get dumber. There, people are pushing this technology forward. It's not going to go backward. This, the, the technology is not there yet. It's not progressing fast enough. It's already breaking down on the current AIs and the AIs are getting smarter much, much faster. The scenario I'm worried about is where the AI is smart enough that has already become smart enough that humans can't stop it from growing anymore. It's got its own factories. The factories are building more factories. Um, you, it decides that you're in the way because you might launch some nuclear weapons and slightly inconvenience it, or you're in the way because you might build another super intelligence that could actually inconvenience it. Or maybe you can't inconvenience it at all and it builds more and more factories and more and more power plants and until it's boiling the oceans for uh, heat dissipation and or, or, or you know intercepting all of the sunlight before it gets to Earth, neither of which we would survive.